Alrighty, everybody, thank you so much for watching up Dex's YouTube channel, The Processing Plug. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the Clover Station uh, P550 bundle. In today's video, we're also going to be going over the payment receipts, how you can customize them, and all the capabilities of the payment receipts. So like always, we're gonna be starting on the home screen where all your apps are listed out. We're gonna go to the setup app today. So that's located somewhere on your screen. It's different for every client, especially if you move it around, but it's the one with the wrench and the other tool right here. You gotta click that. And right when you click onto the app, it's gonna take you directly to the first option here, which is business information. We're gonna go ahead and select payment receipts. We're gonna go over the options one by one, show you guys some examples. So. Let's go over how to first add your receipt printer. Generally with Clover, the receipt printer is already linked, which is the receipt printer that is attached to the Clover Station bundle. But let's pretend it's not. Go ahead and click receipt printers. That's going to take you right to the printers app. So on the bottom right side of the screen, there's that green plus arrow. We're going to go ahead and select that. Since we are adding a receipt printer, we're going to select obviously receipt printer. Now we have a Star TSP100, which acts both as an order printer and a receipt printer. If you need to print out a master ticket somewhere else or print receipts somewhere else, you're able to have that option. But today we're gonna be working on the printer that comes with your Clover, which only comes with the Station P550 bundle, P500, and the Clover Station Pro. So the available printer is the Station. We're gonna go in and select that. Once it says online there and it says and it's under the receipt printer section, you know you are good to go. So let's go ahead and go back to our setup app and continue on with the uh, with the video. So first option is automatically print customer receipt after each order. This is really nice for merchants that take uh, a lot of delivery or pickup if you need a master ticket so you can match up all your items. So let's say you have a pizza that goes to the pizza station and you have a chicken parm sandwich that goes to the kitchen. With this one master ticket that you can have automatically print, um, you can match up your order pretty seamlessly. It's good for the packers and for the runners and restaurants as well. Now you can also mark items as printed when printing a bill, but that's usually not necessary. That's probably necessary if you needed like a master ticket and you wanted to make sure everything was printed out to the right areas, but that's a very unpopular option to be checked off. Also, allow customers to opt into marketing on emailed receipts. So on every single receipt with Clover, there's a QR code and a link that the customers can go to. Basically what that is, is the customers are opting in for the marketing for email or text message offers. So if your business is running promos and you do $5 off any purchase above $50, the customers can stay updated directly from the receipts. Now, you also have receipt logo. So on your receipt, you can actually have your logo on the top of every single receipt that you print, cash or credit. This can be done on the Clover uh, dashboard, which is accessible on the Clover dashboard app on any of your smartphones, iPads, tablets, or on a URL on the computer. So if you want to add your uh, logo to your receipt, 100% is possible. Now, this one's cool too. Custom header text. This right here is if you want to give the customers any heads up. So if you're a clothing store and you have a return policy, you can type in whatever your return policy is. So you have 15 days to return items. If the tag is ripped off, you know, there's no return uh, available. But in this case, here's what we're going to do for Upnexa, because you all know Upnexa sells the cash discount program compliantly along with surcharging. So if you want to let your customers know about the uh, fee for the uh, credit or debit card purchases or the discount when you pay with cash, you can type that in here. So what I'm going to type in is cash discount incentive of 4%. Go ahead and click save. Now Clover gives you a little option of your receipt here. So you can see it can either populate here or you can have it populate down there, pay, pay with cash and save 4%. So a little customization options right there for you. Now you can also include an option for your order note. So if you watched one of our latest videos on the orders app on the Clover POS or on the uh, order printer, you can create custom order notes such as man in the blue shirt or Mike B. Just ways so you can keep track of orders. You can have that printed on the payment receipt. That is an option. You go ahead and click that and you can see it populates right here. So watch where my finger is, my right finger. 
on click on click on nice little option there now also what is a popular option especially for quick service places or places where people get tips you can have your cashier name aka the person that signed in while completing the transaction now once you click cl uh, cashier name it would populate right there so your customers know oh i met i uh, dealt with jen last time i was here she was a great waitress or if they have any questions about their bill they can ask a manager or whoever hey can you find jen i have a question on my bill now you also have line items line items is basically just showing you a detailed receipt so if your customers or your your business owner and you prefer your customers to have a detailed receipt meaning they see every single item and modifier listed on the receipt you have that option but if you just want your customers to see just the total just to make things easier save some paper you can eliminate line items and just have the subtotal tax and your actual total but if you're a restaurant, generally, most of the time, you're going to want a detailed receipt so the customer knows what they're paying for. Custom footer text is the same thing as the custom header text. The footer is on the bottom here, and the header is up top here. So wherever you want any notices or if you need two places to put notices, it is available on the Clover POS system on all devices. Now, there's also online receipt URL. So any customer even if you don't email or text the receipt over to them they are still able to view their receipt online using that exact link so if your customers just type in that exact link they'll be able to see a detailed report of what they paid for the exact time the amount everything in case there's any questions now there is also the barcode the barcode is a great feature for takeout businesses or anybody that just wants to be able to easily look up receipts because when you go and print a receipt, this barcode here, you can go right to your orders app. You select your barcode, little option on the bottom left of the screen. You would then take that receipt and, oh, look here, I'm, hello. You would then take that receipt and just scan the barcode right there and the order will automatically pop up. Let's go back to our setup app. And last but not least, the customer information. So you can see as soon as I click that, it shows you another uh, another uh, view of it. The customer information, you could take some of these things off. It's just really what's, whatever's available inside your system. But if you want your customer to know, okay, that was definitely me that paid for that. Or again, if you have a master ticket, you'll have all the customer information here. So the delivery driver can take that master ticket, know exactly where to go. They have the address. You don't need to staple something else on top of it. Anything like that it just creates a little more uh, functionality with your POS system. So that is a total of everything. We appreciate you watching the video, of course. We appreciate you taking the time. We would love if you can like and subscribe the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.